hello guys and welcome to my channel so if you're new here my name is Deacon, aka Dekoko, aka queen of diys and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for tuning back in i love and appreciate you guys so much thank you for everything the comments the love the likes and everything i really appreciate so here is another video for you guys another diy video for you guys and in this one we are going to be making a very soothing acne face cleanser so um, this cleanser is filled with lots of benefits to just help you um, cure a lot of skin issues and without further ado let's just get right into how to make this foaming cleanser So first I'm going to take what I am going to be mixing my stuff in then I'm going to add my white willow back white willow back does have a lot of benefits for the skin including providing gentle exfoliation for the skin and helping to reduce acne and excess or just to mention a few now I'm just going to take a few of that and I'm going to add it to my um, jug or cup or anything you're mixing with next I'm going to then be going in with my calendula leaves and calendula leaves is also very beneficial for the skin it's anti-inflammatory it's moisturizing so I just added like a handful of that to my um, jug so next I'm going to be going in with green tea and you guys already know we love green tea as well on this channel green tea is packed and filled with antioxidants for the skin green tea also treats acne reduces redness and irritation fights premature aging and it just generally has anti-inflammatory properties for the skin so now i am going to take two tea bags and then i'm going to cut that up and i'm going to add it to the rest of my mixture So now I'm just going to be adding hot water to the herbs to just help it infuse or help with the extraction process. So I'm just taking a spatula and I'm mixing that up thoroughly. As you can see, it's like um, a herbal tea. So we are just going to keep that aside and let it brew for a couple of minutes to an hour. So I'm just going to take a cling film and cover that up to help our ingredients not evaporate too much and I'm just going to put that aside. So now I am going in with a cucumber and what I'm doing is I'm taking one large size cucumber and I'm grating that up. so cucumber has very soothing properties for the skin it reduces swelling and puffiness studies have shown that cucumber have the ability to actually reduce swelling and puffiness on the skin it aids in acne prone skin helps to combat premature aging helps with oily skin as well it also suits irritation because of its cooling and anti-inflammatory effect and it also provides a base for hydration since cucumber is like 96% water it provides a good base for hydration so now that we are done grating our cucumber I'm going to now strain that into another um, small bowl now we don't need a lot of cucumber juice for this we just need a little um, nothing too excessive so next step is just to strain all the juice that you can get out and even though it's a large size cucumber you don't get a lot of juice out um, I think I was about to get or I was only able to get about um, 60 ml of um, cucumber juice from one cucumber so keep that in mind you don't need too much so yeah I'm just trying to measure up how much we were able to get to see if it's enough and I sort of tailored my um, formula according to the cooking badges so here we have 60 ml 
so now our tea has had a good time to brew so now we are just going to um, sieve that herbal tea out and this as you can see is a very rich and potent um, brew for our cleanser so I'm just saving that with a strainer once I'm done with that I'm then putting it back into the bowl I'm going to be working with so it doesn't have to be a beaker you can work with anything that is convenient then I'm adding um, my cucumber juice to the brew and now I'm going to take my vegetable glycerin I'm going to take the amount that I need and please don't forget that the um, ingredients will be in the description bar with its measurement so definitely check that out so now I'm also going to take about one teaspoon of zaitan gum this is optional but I love to do this because I love my face washes to just have that gel consistency so now I'm going to mix my zaitan gum with the glycerin this process is to help the zaitan gum cure better if I added it um, directly to the um, tea or the herbal brew it would have probably formed like um, a lumps in the um, liquid so you don't want to do that um, you want to first of all add it to your glycerin so now I'm just turning that into our herbal tea so once I'm done with that I'm going to stir it up properly and now I'm just using my spatula to stir and then I'm going to go in with my wigs to stir and in a little while you would notice that the consistency or the viscosity of your um, liquid is now gel like to some extent so I'm going to show you guys what that looks like as you can see it's become sort of like a thick gel so now I'm then going to go in with my natural castile soap you want to make sure that you're using a natural castile soap for this guys please put that in mind so I'm just going to take the measurement that I need and at this point I do not know that my camera went off so yeah you're just gonna see the next process <laughs> so now I had added my soap my castile soap and now I'm just going to be mixing that up thoroughly so now this part is important as well the part where you get to mix your soap thoroughly is very very important as well so now I'm just showing you guys the consistency after mixing for a while and as you can see it's not a very runny consistency so now I am adding my um, tea tree oil which has also anti-inflammatory properties and it's good for acne and I'm just adding some drops and I'm just stirring that up again and yeah so now I'm going to be showing you guys the consistency as well as you can see it's like a gel wash for the face so now I am going to be transferring my now soap into or face cleanser into a storage container and the storage container that I am using here is a foaming container which is going to give the foaming effect when I'm using it on my face so yeah so now I'm just turning that into a storage container for storage and that's it guys you basically have your um, face cleanser slash face wash slash gel so yeah you have it and it's ready to go on your skin this was very easy to make as you could see and yeah thank you so much for watching um, please make sure that you thumbs up this video if you do like what you're seeing and drop a comment down below to let me know that you'd be making this cleanser or not and if you do make it please always come back to drop a comment to let other people know what you feel about this i highly appreciate those comments and yeah thank you so much and i'm going to see you guys in my next video and as usual i wish you guys a perfect beautiful and luscious skin see you guys in my next one and make sure that you're subscribed if you're not bye Mwah.